This is Kenny D, and you're watching Wolf Freeland Follow Kid. Make sure to subscribe. Hey guys, this is Wolf from Follow Kid. Today I'm going to be uh, re reviewing, excuse me, re reviewing that I already did. That I, um, that, that I just re reviewed that I first watched um, two years ago. That was back in 2019. I mean, it's been almost three years actually. Yeah, it's getting close, cl getting close to three years. I think I think I had that like, I think I had it for like November or or so, whenever in 2019, I I believe. I think it was. It's just been a long time. So today I'm gonna be reviewing uh, the 2000 film animated film that's that's made by 20th Century Fox. Um. I think it was yeah so it was a flop it was a big bomb box office bomb at the box office because it's got because the budget has more than the one from the box office but now it flopped so so it was one of the biggest box, box office bombs so but it's still a really great film though but th i mean despite that though it also has like a negative they're not negative they a mixed reviews like a 50% Rotten Tomatoes so yeah I re-got this film just because of the, the the original artwork the original cover cover for it because I didn't like the other cover though the one I got though but this is the one I like the one I finally finally picked up and that is of Titan AE so yeah this is a special edition though, but yeah, this is a Titan AE though. I am really glad I got this one because of, of the original artwork. I didn't, I didn't like the other one though, the newer one that they re, that they re-released. So I don't know why would they do that. But I'm glad I got this one though, because the other one's way better though. I could get it on VHS though, for some point, maybe one day. I'm not sure, but hopefully one day I'll get it on VHS. Yeah, they only released on VHS and DVD, but. But still have not released on Blu-ray, but so whoever whoever owns uh, 20th, 20th Century, I mean, make please re-release this movie on Blu-ray, okay? Please make it happen on 20th Century, cause cause I would like to get Titan AE on Blu-ray. So anyway, let's just get to the plot of this film. Now the plot is about uh, Kel Tucker, who played by Matt Damon. Yeah, uh, has his little thing broke, so his father, him and his father went to that, one of those ships, so, because of the, it was like the end of the earth, that was the year of thir thir th um, 3,000 and something, I forgot what it was, um, yeah, it's somewhere in the year, the year 3,000, um, so they went on the ship, and now his father and Joseph Corso went out, and, well, actually, uh, just, uh, I mean, they're separated, but his father went to that that thing, that ship, the other ship, so, so, the whole earth just exploded, so, but now 15 years later, um, Kale grew up, um, I think, um, so, so also he find he met with this guy named, oh, the guy who was with his father, which was Joseph Corso, who played by, um, he played by Bill Pullman, played by Bill Pullman, and, um, him and Kale went, um, we're getting out, and so went to that ship. Oh, we're not ship, you know, just that thing that flies. So, um, <clears throat> so they went, so they went up, and like, and then they just break through the glass, which I thought was pretty cool. How Kel had his reaction, and like, it break through the glass, right up, um, in that ship. I mean, that big ship. So they got out, and now, so now Kale woke up, and he met with, uh, he met, um. Akima, Preed, Goon, um, but Stit, yeah, yeah, the other characters, um, so he got his arm healed and everything, so, and, um, so, um, he, um, yeah, he, um, so they went to that, um, to that, to a planet called, um, Siv, Sashur, Sisharim, I think it was. Yeah, it's hard to say it. Sisharim. Um, so they're all being tagged, and now the alien is um, chasing them, but now they got picked up by... I mean, Kel and the other characters have been picked up by 
these um I forgot what those are called those are like kind of like pterodactyls but they're not so now uh, Akela and Akima got captured and Akima been launched out by one in one of those those, those kind of like um uh, Han Solo and Carbonat, those little Carbonat things, but they're not, though. They're just, like, kind of like metal boxes. I don't know what you call it to put humans in. I don't know how you, what you call it, but... So she dropped off in that, um... Uh, trade, trade ship. Um, Sora, Sora, Soros, I think it was. Yeah, that's where she dropped off, and... Corso, Pre... Is Sith, yeah, Hangoon were in that, so they not knock out that guard... So, so Kale escaped, so he went to one of those alien ships, so he went, yeah, so he finally went to Corso's ship now, and yeah. Now Corso, yeah, and Prade were just trade, trading, they are just traitors. So, so Kale and Akima, um, escaped to that, um, Brit, um, Drifter, I think, yeah, Drifter Colony. Which where the people are, so Akima got shot in the chest, so they went and just heal her up, fix her, yeah, you know, just, just cover, yeah, just you know what I'm talking about, yeah, just fixed her, so just to stop bleeding. But anyway, so they build a ship, a, a smaller ship, so they went through this, these these uh, rocks. I forgot what those called. So if they finally found that place uh, where his father was, so he put, put the ring on there and that his father gave him before the earth exploded so now they 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 put so kale put his ring on there and it has a hologram of his father his father message so the father message just you know just went out and now now corso and pre um showed up and now um pre uh, betrayed um betrayed uh corso like by yeah just point a gun at him now but now, yeah, after, so, Corso knocked down, now Corso showed up and, like, went right behind Prey, and now he just, like, picked him up, just, like, turned his neck brutally, so, so it killed him, so it killed Prey, um, so Corso was, was pretty, was pretty a good, was just a good guy, just pretend that he's trying to be bad, trying to, just trying to, yeah, you know, or not trying to be bad, I, I mean, just hide things up, you know, and then, so Prey's pretty much just a bad guy as well. So so he's so he's dead. Now Corso was helping Kale get that machine hook on and so all the aliens are attacking, so <clears throat> excuse me now, um so Kale is getting that thing trying to get the thing to work, but now Corso is working on it now Corso is bleeding out, so he has that you know, that, that thing that Goes on the machine that is being electrocuted, and now this whole thing's working. After Kale put the ring on there on that thing, so now so destroy all the aliens and they rebuild um, Earth, a new Earth, yeah, a new planet. So so now Corso's um, so Joseph Corso is pretty much dead, dead now. So because he was bleeding now, but now he got electrocuted just to have the thing working. So yeah. Um, Anyway, and all so all the other people, including Kale and Akima, went to that new Earth. So Kale called the new Earth Bob. Yeah, Planet Bob, <laughs> which is a, I thought was pretty much a funny name for a planet. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's how the way it ended. So anyway, so what do I think of it? I think I think Titan E is a is a pretty cool movie though. I thought it was pretty. Really, really awesome film though. I enjoyed Titan AE. I never knew what the film was. I, I have never know what it was until I was like eighteen back in twenty seventeen. I watched a clip from it, but now I, but now I never got to watch it like start, start to finish. But I haven't got to watch start to finish until I was twenty, for twenty nineteen. I think it was. Yeah, I haven't, wa I haven't, I haven't watched it start. I haven't got to watch it start to finish till I was twenty. So, <laughs> believe it or not. So anyway. This film, like I said, this film came out in two, in two thousand. Um, um, like I said before, the film bombed. Yeah, it, it bombed in the box office, and Twentieth Century Fox um, was shut down because of that film. Sadly, so 
which just sucks so they're never I, I mean this film is good without a sequel anyway because there's there's no there's no reason to make a sequel so I mean the film uh, yeah but Titan is a really awesome film though so like I said before it's it's good without a sequel anyway so but like I said I really wish this film would why not just re-release re this film on Blu-ray so please make it happen I mean I will I would like to buy this film on Blu-ray though. So, uh, let's see. This is the this is the movie Star Wars fans have been waiting for. Yeah, ho <laughs> yep, ho Hollywood bites. So, heck, I'm, I'll say this would have been. I think this is like way better than Star Wars: The Force Awakens and Star Wars: The Last Jedi. Which I still think Star Wars: uh, The Rise of Skywalker was still good. But even though Star Wars: The Original Trilogy was a masterpiece, especially the Star Wars prequels, which I thought was alright, though. So. It's not like from the Star Wars franchise. This kind of more looks more like it, so. Yeah, it's been about, like I said, 20th Century Fox. I thought they, I think they did a really good job in this film. I, I think it's because how they have this 3D animation that looks realistic. Instead of just a cartoony type animation. In the trailer, they they used the Creed song called "Higher," which I thought was a pretty. Which I I love Creed. Like I really love Creed, though, to be honest. And he, uh, I thought the bands the band was really really cool. So they just yeah to put the song in the trailer. So I I really, I really like that. I don't know. I I don't think it's. I don't know if this is why because the film bombed, but but just so you know, I like Creed. And Creed's one of my favorites. Yeah, I mean he's one. They're one of my uh, yeah. The, that rock band's one of my favorites. So yeah, I, I really like I really like Creed though. So yeah, this is a fabulous film. That's what it says on the back. <laughs> yeah, that's Titan AE. Really enjoyed this film. Yeah, this is the first time I rewatched it though. So. I only watched it for like once, so but now I rewatched. I decided to rewatch it again though, and I still loved it. Still enjoyed it. If you haven't seen Titan AE, I recommend you go check it out. It's a really great movie. Um, yeah. So. So yeah, thanks so much for watching, uh, you guys. So hope you guys enjoyed it, and make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope you guys have a great day. Um. So, yeah, but yeah, this is, like I said, this is the original artwork, so I only got it for like three bucks on Goodwill, so I was like, why not, so, <laughs> I mean, it's a really great deal, though, I'm really glad I got it, so, <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah, and I'll see you guys in the next video, oh yeah, this is my re-review of this film, I already reviewed it already, so, but I do hope you guys like the review better, so, I did a re-review re better than my, than my, original review on that film so and just you know i like matt damon as an actor i, I really like matt damon uh, he played in goodwill hunting with robin williams he also played in we bought a zoo and, uh, and some other movies i forgot what other movies they played um yeah i think bill Pullman did a really great job as corso yeah joseph corso andrew um, barrymore i thought she i think she did a really great job as playing as um as Akima, I think I think she did a really amazing job um, in, in this film. So I really enjoyed. Um, I really enjoyed this movie, though. Like I said, like I said, Matt Damon did a great job as Kel Tucker. Yeah, he, he did really excellent. I, I will admit. So and um, yeah. So thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said before, and I'll see you guys in the next video. And hope you guys have a great day. Peace.